Taking action for you. This morning on TV20 Detroit starts right now. What's happening in entertainment with Greg Dunmore of PulseBeat.tv. Hi, you're watching PulseBeat with Greg Dunmore, and we're on the Avenue of Fashion Livernoise, which is part of what makes Detroit such a dynamic city. And when we say to light something up, it's going to take on a new meaning when we find out that light up living noise is not only something that is spectacular, it's a place that you're going to find out why we love living noise. So light up living noise is a great opportunity to get a vibe of the community for the business district in this community to really love on the residents here and to highlight a lot of world-class retail, restaurants, and service. And so I would say to come out to Live Little North, you're gonna get a great experience in the community with a bunch of great business. Hey, buddy. You know, on Livernois, from 8 Mile down to the Lodge, and of course it goes even further, it's one of the highest concentrations of black-owned businesses on one street anywhere in America. So we don't have to have Wall Street, and we love black Wall Street, and we got total support, but we already have it here. And so we don't have to look elsewhere when we talk about economic uplift, especially when, uh, as it relates to uh, black excellence. So it's black excellence everywhere that people should know about. And then one thing I'm gonna make a proclamation, Greg, and that is, is that look, we gotta get our number one spot back. And what is that? The black excellent capital of the world. Atlanta, DC, we gotta have that back. We gotta have it back. We now are doing something, um, our most recent television show with Hill Harper is the war on black excellence. There is this mindset that we still have that to be successful as an African-American is to think that you are better than someone and that's the elephant in the room. So what do you say to those? Nobody should ever apologize for trying to level up. That should be everybody's goal. And if a person's not interested in that, then they probably are part of the problem and not the solution. Those kind of people will always play defense. We want to play offense. And we, want, we don't want to leave anybody behind who wants to go. But if you don't want to go, there's nothing we can do. And yes, we do. And we really do want people to know that this is a destination. When we go to New York, we know that the Broadway, District. the Garment District. Yes. When we are in Chicago, we know Michigan Avenue is where we go. So we want when tourists come to Detroit that they know that downtown is getting a lot of attention, but there's a lot of hot and happening things on living rooms. Yes. So is there a... Well, you know, you know how to do it in a very witty, very creative way, but when we talk about the shops and services, what is the one word that comes to mind? And then give us an acronym for that uh -oh. one word. I'll put uh -oh. you on the spot. Uh -oh. You know, put me on the spot. I think the acronym would be SOAR because we're soaring over here right. on Living Noise. And so the S, we are sensational. You're talking about fashion, you're talking about amazing food, you're talking about opportunities to meet amazing people. And then the O, you have opportunity. If you're a business owner, they have pop-up shops, so you can bring your business down here, trucks, that you can bring your trucks, so the opportunities in there. And then the A is that we need to aspire. We need to aspire to be great. And these businesses are showing you how to do it so they're a model and then the R woo, we need to reach we need to reach back and help somebody else and keep reaching forward to do it over again so we have good times it's that simple we have a good time our food alone is good enough now we we add the ambiance it's very upscale on the inside very chic very modern we have um, an outdoor patio, we have a tenant area, COVID made us build that. And then we also have the same thing upstairs, we have a rooftop patio, we have another tenant area with TVs and a fireplace and a full bar. We have a cigar lounge, cigar room, and a humidor. So we're trying to bring everything into once. You can't find this nowhere else, so please do come see us at Good Times. And you forgot to say something that your wife, I'm sure, is going to confirm. Good Times also has Mac. Oh yeah, the one and only Mac. And then we do have a, a food truck. We're gonna be on every block coming soon. Fantastic. You know, having talked to Mac, he was so convincing that we had to stop and order something. So I ordered the hamburger and I'm just taking a little bite of it. Now let's see. Mm. I shouldn't even my mouth full, but mm. fantastic. Let me take the fry. Wow, the quality of the meat, 
grade A. I asked for sauteed onions and they did them perfectly. And the potato, I believe it's a fresh cut potato and I love a fresh cut potato. So this is really, I would say, the best hamburger I've had thus far in the city of Detroit. Max said that we have to come here because he said that he loves this place too because he loves you. So let us know what makes Bacano so exceptional. Oh yeah, so we have, well one, we're black owned. Two, all our food is made from scratch, margarita is made from scratch, everything is made in-house. So it's, we like family here, you know what I mean? We all love each other, we work well together, and we got the best margaritas on the block. Now Max said something about Bacano, so I want you to say something real quick about Mac, your husband, let us know that mm -hmm. and why good times is a good time. Oh yeah, so pequeño, you guys know pequeño means small, little. And good times is going to be a good time here. It's when you come in, it's a different vibe from the strip. You get Mexican food in Detroit on Livernois, so it's fun. And say something to Mac right now. Oh, hey Mac, I love you. <laughs> Have fun down there on this light up Livernois. <laughs> It's amazing. It's an honor to be here in the second year as the title sponsor of Light Up Livernois, working with a hyper-local organization like the Independent Business Association. And as you know, Rufus Bartel, who's been a, a, a you know, stalwart of this community, making sure that we keep our business, our entrepreneurs, our, our community at the front of it, right? And so it's an honor to help not only support them uh, financially, but also how can we bring thought leadership and technology and you know, strive to not only be a great employer, but a great neighbor in this community that we love so much. Now, I know that you're a world traveler. You've been all, you're a jet setter. You've been all over the world. And every time you go to a destination, there are places that are must-see places. You go to New York, it's Broadway. You go to Paris, it's the Eiffel Tower. So I want people to put Livernois on their must experience business districts. So I want you to say something about Livernois and something that's going to excite this audience, especially those who are not from Detroit, that they will know that you can't come to Detroit and not experience living on. Absolutely. It's an avenue of fashion. It's music, culture, technology, the origin of it all. You know, one of the great things is when you first get to Livernois, you walk and you see those names etched uh, in steel in the stone of who used to be here before you. And you get that sense of you're walking in their, in their footsteps. You know, all the greats lived right here. And just down the street, you had Marvin Gaye, you had David Ruff, and they were just starting to realize what a special, special place this is in terms of that creativity, that entrepreneurship, and just the, the origins uh, of black excellence, to be honest. Now, Amazon has certainly an international name, and it is a leader as it relates to not only Detroit, but what's happening all over the country. So is there something else that Amazon is involved in that um, among the many things that I'm sure will put a smile on your face being now officially part of their Amazon family, their team. So what is something else that Amazon is doing that this audience should know about among the many things I know that they're doing? Well, we're excited to launch our community engagement program in Detroit. We're a hub, one of the only uh, across the country that are focused in this way. You know, we've got more than 30,000 Amazonians across the state of Michigan, but 18,000 living in the city of Detroit and, and around this region in general. And so when we come to surprise and delight our customers and stay customer obsessed, that means a lot of things. Here we're gonna be focused on wellness, recreation, upskilling, and we've got an amazing new program called Career Choice that's gonna not only help our associates who work in our fulfillment centers you know, go towards their career goals, but their career dreams outside of it, where we're gonna pay for their community college credits, for their college credits up to a certain amount. So it's really exciting to have an opportunity uh, to support this organization and, and be a part of the Amazon family. Livernois is a magical place to eat, drink, and to get your hair cut. So let us know the attraction of Livernois, especially coming from the perspective of a master barber. Well, the attraction that we have on Livernois, we have plenty of shopping. You can shop anywhere from clothes, suits, dresses, for men and women. You can come and get your hair done at the finest, some of the finest hairstylists and barbers on this planet at Photogenic Look on living noise and when you come into this establishment you're going to feel love you're going to feel the atmosphere a good vibe from everybody from the hairdressers to the shampoo girls to the 
everybody that's associated with this business. So we're just excited to be here to be the part of Living Noise, the light up Living Noise. And just excited to be around to be able to be in this time to be able to celebrate. We work together, we strive together, um, and actually we just promote, promote, promote over here. So. This is now known to be a very powerful district of black ownership. And someone told me, would I be welcome? and they're non-African American, and I said to them, would you go to a Chinese restaurant and ever ask, would you be welcomed because you're not Chinese? So what do you say to those non-African Americans to let them know we love you and we want you to make this a destination? I would say, please, that's exactly right. We do love you. We're here and in service and in business for everyone. Our businesses have global reaches in some cases. So it's not about just a black experience, it's about a human experience. So we want definitely other cultures and other ethnicities to please come and learn and enjoy what we have to offer. Develop it, clean it, grow it. it de anybody that's doing those three things, no matter where you look, uh, what, what you look like and where you're from, that's who Detroit belongs to. It doesn't belong to a person who does not invest in it, who does not clean it, who does not grow it who does not uh, dispense uh, accurate information. If you're doing those things, Detroit is your city. If you're not doing those things, we want you to go to another city. Well, the light of success is on both of you, and may God continue to bless this business district because you are a blessing not only to this city, but you are a blessing to every visitor that wants to come to Detroit for them to leave and say, nobody does it better than what city? Detroit, what up, Detroit, though? Detroit, what up, though? <laughs> Pulse of a new generation. Pulse me. TV. If you like what we're doing, please tell a friend. Or if you want to see what we've done again, go to PulseBeatGlobal.com. That's P-U-L-S-E-B-E-A-T-G-L-O-B-A-L.com. You can also go to our PulseBeat TV YouTube channel and you can revisit what we're doing. And once again, you can tell everybody that we're doing something that is so exciting that they wouldn't want to miss it. Remember PulseBeatGlobal.com or the YouTube channel PulseBeat TV. Thanks for telling the world about it. Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Smith. I'm the president and CEO of Tuskegee Airmen National Museum in Detroit, Michigan. Today, the museum did a commemoration flight of Raymond Casignol. Raymond Casignol was the last Haitian Tuskegee Airman to train at Tuskegee Army Airfield during World War II. We did a commemoration flight uh, called a missing man formation with the museum aircraft the T-6 you see right here, and three motor gliders that we use to teach young people how to fly. The T-6 is significant. Raymond Casignol may have actually flown this aircraft. It was at Tuskegee Army Airfield during World War II and used as a trainer, as well as the Stearman that you see uh, in the background. It was at Moton Field and used as a trainer. Raymond uh, Casignol may have flown these aircraft as a cadet. Museum does these commemorations as often as we can. Whenever an airman passes, just let us know. You can contact us on tuskegeemuseum.org. That's our website. We want to express our condolences to the family and just to let them know that our hearts are with them and that we do intend to keep the history alive and accurate of the Tuskegee Airmen. Thank you. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean.
give up. Go back to the Dome Star. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. Pulse of a new generation. Pulse me. TV. Oh, I forgot the world is watching. I hope you enjoyed the piece that we did on Liver Noise, which is a must experience part of Detroit that we're recommending that the whole world support for its boutiques, its restaurants, and barbershops. Now, allow this Big D Detroit to show its love for another Big D that Pulse Beat is highly recommending as a tourist destination, the city of Dallas. Dallas. Dallas attracts tourists with its rich architecture, beautiful parks, theme museums, and a dark page in history associated with the assassination of President Kennedy. The city features more restaurants and park attractions than New York City. They say it's in Dallas that you can understand the true meaning of the American soul. There's something for everyone, and our list of the best things to do in Dallas will help you decide on activities. Dallas Downtown Historic District The Downtown Historic District combines architectural styles from different centuries and has many attractions such as museums, markets, theaters, and sculptures. Speaking of the latter, the Dallas Downtown Historic District is home to Pioneer Plaza. It is famous for its 52-piece sculptural group. The composition represents three cowboys on horseback driving a herd of 49 bulls. A must-visit place for a likable insta-picture. Old City Park Old City Park is an open-air museum called Dallas Heritage Village until 2022. It consists of 38 restored and furnished 19th and 20th century homes. They were all imported from North Texas. The buildings of Old City Park include a Greek-style mansion, school, farm, shooting range, hotel, church, bank, railroad depot, and doctor's office. People dressed in authentic period costumes and historical reenactments add to the atmosphere. Dealey Plaza Dealey Plaza is a small public park in the West End neighborhood of downtown Dallas. It is home to an interesting neo-Romanesque building. However, this place is not known for its architecture, but for the assassination of the 35th President of the United States, John F. Kennedy. The Sixth Floor Museum on Dealey Plaza is a Dallas museum in the former Texas School Bank Depository Building. It was on the sixth floor of this building that, according to the official version, Lee Harvey Oswald shot John F. Kennedy in 1963. An exhibit devoted to this tragic event opened on the sixth floor in 1989. John F. Kennedy Memorial Plaza The John Fitzgerald Kennedy Memorial is located one block from Dealey Plaza. It was unveiled on June 24, 1970. The monument consists of 72 white columns lined with a square room without a roof. Narrow openings are made on the north and south sides of the structure. The design features of John F. Kennedy Memorial Plaza create the illusion of lightness and floating above the ground. Fair Park Fair Park is an entertainment and educational complex two miles from downtown Dallas. It is a hub for five museums and ten concert and sports venues. Fair Park is home to the largest Art Deco exhibit architecture collection in the United States. It also features Texas Discovery Gardens, a seven and a half acre oasis in the urban jungle. It is a garden with an insectarium and a butterfly house. In a special chamber, visitors can witness the miracle, butterfly birth from a cocoon. Reunion Tower. The Reunion is an observation tower 561 feet high. A balloon-shaped structure is at the top of the Reunion Tower, inside of which is the Geodeck Observation Deck, 470 feet. 
it's the perfect place to get a 360-degree view of Dallas. The one-minute ride up to the top of the elevator with the transparent walls is also attractive. Design District the Design District is one of Dallas's best creative neighborhoods. It's an eclectic place filled with clothing, shoe, and jewelry boutiques, designer interior salons, modern art galleries, fine restaurants, and luxury apartment buildings. The neighborhood is also known for its craft breweries. Perot Museum of Nature and Science The Perot Museum of Nature and Science is in the Victory Park neighborhood. You can learn how birds and dinosaurs are related, see the skeletons of the latter, marvel at the beauty of space, explore alternative energy sources, trace the path of evolution, become an engineer for a few minutes, learn about the amazing possibilities of the human body, and much more. Most museum exhibits are interactive and will interest both adults and children. Arts District The Arts District in Dallas is the largest in the United States. It encompasses 20 blocks in downtown Dallas, totaling 68 acres. Art lovers will enjoy interesting museums, fancy restaurants and bars, creative galleries, and progressive theaters. The Art District is also home to Clyde Warren Park. A large restaurant and a stage are in the center of Clyde Warren Park. Skyscrapers surrounding the park are particularly spectacular after sunset. White Rock Lake White Rock is an artificial lake five miles northeast of downtown Dallas. Swimming is prohibited here because White Rock Lake is a water source for nearby communities. Despite this restriction, the area is one of the favorite recreational locations for locals. There are picnic and dog walking areas, jogging and biking paths, gazebos, a cultural center, and a museum. White Rock Lake is a popular spot for sailing, kayaking, paddling, and canoeing. The Dallas Arboretum and Botanical Garden is also located near on the shores of White Rock Lake. Epic Waters Indoor Water Park Epic Waters is an indoor water park in Grand Prairie, 20 miles from downtown Dallas. Eleven water slides are under one roof, ranging from the most extreme to small rides suitable for children. Epic Waters Indoor Water Park has a surf instruction area and there's an artificial wave pool outside that operates during the warm season. The little ones will love the water playground. Deep Elum Deep Ellum is a Dallas neighborhood known for its music venues, bars, eateries, and vibrant nightlife. It has about 20 historic buildings from the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In the 1920s, jazz and blues musicians began to perform here. 20 years later, there were already 30 concert venues in the area. Its clubs hosted Nirvana, Radiohead, and Pearl Jam. Artists also kept up with the musicians by doing graffiti, opening galleries, and organizing festivals. An evening at Deep Ellum is one of the most fun things to do in Dallas for adults. Dallas will captivate you with its scope and history. From leisurely strolls in the parks and visits to numerous galleries and museums to loud parties and hearty dinners, the city offers entertainment and recreation for all tastes. Don't look for an excuse to visit Dallas, just explore the world and make memories. Now, although that piece really does show you why Dallas is a wonderful city, but they left something out and something that we would be remiss if we didn't underscore. We have had a love affair with the Black Academy of Arts and Letters, which happens to be the cultural institution that gave Erica Badu because of its founder, Curtis King, her first professional break and put her on the path to superstardom. And they're doing a festival that we're so excited about that we've had a chance to cover the last few years, the Riverfront Jazz Festival. So we're gonna show you a flashback and a sneak preview of what we're going to delve into deeper next week, the Riverfront Jazz Festival 2023. Pulse of a new generation. Pulse TV. It's great to be back in the heart of Texas, deep in the heart of Texas from one big D, Detroit, to the other big D, which is Dallas. We just left Aretha Franklin's funeral and the spirit of this great lady is everywhere that we go. We distinctively came to Dallas so we can talk to some celebrities who are part of the Black Academy of Arts and Letters, second annual Riverfront Jazz Festival. And it's exciting to be here. Dallas is a real destination city, and we hope by the time you watch this, you're going to find out why we love Dallas.
We do not come to Dallas without visiting this sacred place of arts and culture, the Black Academy. Not if you know what's happening. The Black Academy of Arts and Letters is exceptional. Everything that I learned about the theater, I learned from Curtis King under his direction. And he has always treated me very, 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 very delicately because he saw something in me that I didn't see myself. And um, I, I just don't have a lot of words. It's a feeling that you that you have to feel when you come in this, in this building. He is a true thespian, and everything I've learned, I learned from him and from being in his place. So we encourage you to also look at Dallas as a destination that you're going to come to have fun. You're going to experience the warmth of Texas and the wonder of Texas. This is going to be an exciting show, and once again, we're deep in the heart of Texas. Love being here, and I love the fact that you are joining us on Pulse Beat. TV. Pulse of a new generation. PulseBeat.tv. What we've done again, go to PulseBeatGlobal.com. That's P U L S E B E A T G L O B A L.com. You can also go to our PulseBeat TV YouTube channel and you can revisit what we're doing. And once again, you can tell everybody that we're doing something that is so exciting that they wouldn't want to miss it. Remember PulseBeatGlobal.com or the YouTube channel PulseBeat TV. Thanks for telling the world about it. He's social media savvy, let him know you with Detroit Tell him almost out loud. We own everything. Pulse of a new generation. Pulse beat.